Welcome back to the Rust Commons grind set. So many Rust Commons quests to do. One thing I should note at the beginning of this is that my good headphones broke. They don't work that good no more. I couldn't fix them. So I'm using like crappy backup headphones, like the kind that come with your iPhone, but not even those, like a knockoff of those. So it makes, I sound different to myself when I talk because I got different headphones in. So if I sound different talking on this stream, that's just me trying to account for my not ideal headphone situation. All true gamers play with gas station iPhone knockoff headphones. That's how real gamers play video games. I don't know how you guys play, but that's how Borderlands is meant to be played. Oh, let's sell some stuff before we go into the Sigma grind set. I believe I grabbed all the quests when I was here last time. Skull Candy Gaming, oh yeah. Oh, you know it. That a uh, corrosive pistol could be kind of good. That could be an okay one. Let's see, is it an okay one? Gas Station Turtle Beaches? I wish. I wish Gas Station sold Turtle Beach. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'll use a corrosive revolver because the corrosive revolver is more fun. You know what was very amusing to me? A lot of people in my YouTube comments section were not watching Oboe Shoes games back when the only game I ever uploaded was Borderlands Gaming. And so on the comments section of all these Borderlands videos, people are like, why isn't he spending his skill points? It's great. It's classic, man. Some things never change. Is TK okay? We'll see if TK is okay. I told TK he should go to the Rust Commons and do the Sigma Rust Commons grind set, but he insisted on staying in his shack. Let's get back, back to the shack. Why did I teleport there? I'm not going to New Haven. I'm trying to go to Firestone. There we go. I think TK will be okay this time. Yeah, I hope so. I hope he's doing okay. What is unique about Borderlands is got cartoon graphics. Why is my mouse cursor on the screen? Get out of here, Randy. I swear, Randy, I can't stand that guy sometimes. Is it worth fighting the uh, the giant moth rack? I think I have the moth rack. I might as well shoot him down. While I'm in the neighborhood. Get you rolling, man. But I'm playing as Mordecai. Miss. Okay, kills level twos in one hit. That's not bad. That's pretty good. If you're really, truly wondering why I never spend my skill points in Borderlands, just go watch all my old Borderlands videos and you will not find an explanation in those either. The only way to find out is to like this video and smash that like button and ring that bell. Fun fact about mash that like button, they added a new feature to YouTube where when you say mash that like button in the video, the like button like glows. Like when I, when I just said it a few seconds ago when this is on YouTube, oh, by the way, TK is dead, RIP. When I just said that, the like, if you like are on desktop, the like button will glow when I say that. Which is kind of fun. It's kind of a fun feature. The bell should make a Taco Bell sound. That'd be good. YouTube made a good update? Wow. I can't believe they done changed something good. They also recently, like, relaxed some of their advertiser content guidelines, which is pretty good. YouTube's batting a thousand. All right, what else is in this stupid zone? Circle of death, I ain't doing that. Moth of the flame, I'll do that real quick, I suppose. Why not? Eh, let's take the shortcut. Let's go over piss wash and gully. Man, tell me when you're gonna do that crap. Oh, sorry, Scooter. I thought you didn't care after the first time. Nah, man, I care for every single one of them. Is that a medical vendor there? Have I noticed that in my entire life? Huh. 
What are you doing here? The heck is this thing just doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, that's my new Borderlands fun fact for this one. Usually it takes at least like half an hour in before I find something I never knew about Borderlands 1, but today, ow. But today I found it real fast. Do a TK RP run, just using TK's wave for the whole game. Can you beat Borderlands with TK's wave? Probably somebody's done that. Maybe like Little Gas Mask has done that. Someone probably has. Type that one into your Google bar and see what pops up. Come on, Mothrak. Come on, Mothrak. Come on, Mothrak. Oh, yeah, there's a new tactic. I always forget. I used to just hide in the shack like a chump, but the new tactic is to hide under the car station. And by new tactic, I mean this is several years old at this point. I usually just fail to implement it, though. Here it comes. Boy, that is one ugly creature. If you can get to the car station, it's a good tactic. I have to get there first, though. Get me out of here. There it is. Okay, the new tactic is to stand underneath this little, like, awning. Supposedly, it's a good spot. I guess this is, like, a respawn point right here, so it probably is pretty decent. Are you the respawn point? Or is the, like, the new you the respawn? That's the respawn, okay. So now you respawn by cover, which is good. Oh god. This gun sounds awful in my skull candy headphones. RIP to anybody watching this video on a skull candy headphone. This, this does not sound good. Oh god. Ugh, that's gross. Not even a fun pattern painted on the side, slightly misaligned, can save this one. Crunchy, oh yeah. Listen to that crunchy audio. Listen to those peaking waveforms. I'm peaking your waveform. Commissar Dale, thank you for subscribing. Commissar Dale says play enemy territory Quake Wars. That's a that's one of them Quake games, I think. I don't even know which one that is. There's so many Quake games. My favorite Quake game is Half-Life 1. Alright, Mothrak, you were chump change. That was surprisingly chump change, Mothrak. Usually Mothrak takes a little bit more than that, I feel. I'll take it, though. What the... Oh, I was this Mothrak dying. We can get an up-close screenshot of Mothrax's head for the Borderlands Wiki. There you go, Borderlands Wiki. Is the Borderlands Wiki still on fandom, or did they migrate off? They better migrate off. Although Gearbox is a type of company that would, like, unironically support a fandom wiki. They'd be like, yeah, fandom is a good website. I, Randy Pitchford, love fandom. It's my favorite. It's still on fandom? That sucks. Get your wiki off of fandom. Fandom is terrible. Only the hottest takes on this stream. Did you guys know that fandom is bad? Even with an ad blocker, it's still bad. Like, even though I have an ad blocker, I still hate using it. And I always, I'm always going on the Skyrim wiki. I'm always going on the Elder Scrolls stuff, and I look stuff up. And the first result always, is the stupid Skyrim fandom wiki. Like, the second or third result is the UESP, which is the one you want. That's the real one. That's the real Elder Scrolls, like, fan wiki that's actually good. You don't want the Skyrim wiki, but the Skyrim wiki keeps popping up. Disgraceful is what it is. What do you want them to do with Borderlands 4? Uh, make it? They should make that game. Come on in, poke 
Once they make that game, then I'll uh, have more answers for you. Once I, when I play the game, I'll be able to tell you what I wish they didn't do. That's a lot easier. I got a constructive criticism? I don't really know how to do that one. How about I just complain about it instead? Yeah, gotta bring back Lilith. Gotta go find Lilith. She's a very important character for Borderman. Okay, now we can go on the Rust Commons common grind set. It is time to grind the Rust Commons like many times before. What if the plot of Borderlands 4 is like they're trying to comment on AI? They're like, oh, we can do like a commentary on AI and we'll do the AI Handsome Jack. He's back again. I want to say that they'll never bring Handsome Jack back. I want to say they will never do that, but they might. They might do it. I hope they don't, but they might do it. Borderlands 4 intro song should be by a Weezer. I agree. That'd be good. I can see them bringing him back in the AI form. Yeah, but the AI form died, or did it die? Hmm, depending on your choices with Reese and Borderlands. Ho, 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 ho. No one's ever really gone. All right, Russ Commons, what do we got? Remind me what these quests are. Hidden journal up to our ears. Seek out Tanny. The car parts. The car parts is right here. I'll do that one first. I'll do car parts. I'll do the SMG parts. So many parts to do. Which part of the hole is your favorite? Oh, spider ant. New enemy type alert. I don't know why I ran through the spider ant cave. I could have just gone around. I thought this would be faster, but I don't I don't have Lilith, so it wasn't faster. It's faster if you're playing as the fast character, but when you're playing as a slow character, it tends to be a little bit slow. Oh, the reload on this thing sucks. What the heck? Mordecai, reload your gun more faster. Can I corrode him? He is a machine. It is a prime candidate for corrosion. There we go. That's what we like to see around these parts. Love to see a Gatling turret get corroded. Come on, you're a prime candidate. There we go. Your re-election campaign was a success. If nominated for this office, I promise to get killed by a corrosive revolver. He's got my vote. No other politician is promising that Mordecai from Borderlands will shoot them and kill them. If more of them would say stuff like that, then I think the country would be a lot better off. Here's one car part. Gotta find the par cart, though. That's the real treasure. Hmm. Not very good shotgun. I right, got anything good, Marcus? Should I get rid of my uh, super duper gun? I'll get rid of the super duper guns. They're not that super duper anymore. It's been a while since they've been super duper. They're kind of inferior, TBH. Super duper is not really an accurate uh, describer. Describer? Descriptor. Duh. Describer? That's the guy in the medieval times with the parchment. He's got a. Wipe the ink off of the vellum paper. I'm supposed to be Mordecai from Borderman Bandit. That was rude. That's me on Halloween night opening the door and seeing all the Gartenda Bam Bam costumes. What the hell are you supposed to be? Except I know. I actually know. Oh, 
like we open the door for Halloween and I'm like at my parents house and they're like oh what are, what are you supposed to be sweetheart and I'm like mom that's Bambolina duh you're embarrassing me you don't know Bambolina you don't know Stinger Flynn guys which one is your favorite bingo Oh, that wasn't even the last one. Bingo, there we go. Handing out candy is Jumbo Josh. The Jumbo Josh is an easy costume, just like be green. Just get one of those like green screen alien suits. One of those green like filthy Frank costumes. And as long as you're taller than the average five-year-old, you can pass for Jumbo Josh. I think I will scavenge a submachine gun. I think that sounds pretty doable. Stay inside your bandit encampment. Don't come out here. This is the Rust Commons, man. Common is in the name. That means it's not for the common people, duh. Look, it's a weird, very weird piece of art. I always thought that was a weird one because that's definitely like a Fallout vibe. That's like the only like Fallout 3 type vibe in this whole game is that one right there. And the rest of it is just like, it's the evil, grungy apocalypse. Like in Borderlands 2 and 3 when they got the like propaganda company stuff, it's just like a boring advertisement. It's not like a vintage Americana style. Bit of a strange one there, but I guess it was nice artwork so they left it in. Mod they replaces Bloodwing with Opila Bird? I would actually use Bloodwing then. And whenever you use Bloodwing, it makes the Opila Bird jump scare sound. Yeah, I hear Bruiser. Wait, this isn't even the right spot. This is the wrong spot. This is Firepower Round 2 or 3, not Firepower Round 1. SMG Parts is a little further down the street. A little bit further down the road. God, I love Borderlands 1 revolvers. are so fun. Borderlands 1 revolvers, Borderlands 1 snipers, Borderlands 1 SMGs, Borderlands 1 shotguns, Borderlands 1 assault rifles are eh, Borderlands 1 repeaters are eh. But if it's a more precision category slash SMG category, it's pretty good. I think the best Borderlands assault rifles is probably in 3, because the assault rifles in 2 kind of suck as well. They're kind of like eh, eh, they're okay. If you're playing as Axton, but who's playing as Axton? You know, Axton's Axton. He's not even Gun Zerking or Maya or Zero. He's just Axton. All he's got is a little robot guy. I like Axton. No, I like Axton, but I'm not gonna play as Axton. I'm not gonna be him. Why would you play as Axton when you can play as Private Jessup instead? Be gone, Burning Psycho. Do I have this Circle of Death over here yet? I think I don't have it. Do I have your Mayhem and Madness? Nope, no Mayhem available. Do I have it? Nope. I didn't do Corrosive Crystal Harvest. I gotta do King Wee Wee. King Wee Wee sounds like a Gartenda Bam Bam guy. He sounds like Matt Pat's gonna make lore about him. Whoa, 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 whoa. My health bar did not enjoy whatever that was. Oh no, I missed it. Can I get back up? Is it possible? There we go. 
Oh, but that one's up there, isn't it? I think I gotta get up there anyway. Maybe? Ooh, look at that. Through the awning. The dawn of a new awn. And I'm still missing one piece. Which one is it? There he is. SMG's finished. Those two hidden journals. Hidden journals are scattered around. In various places and parts. Oh, you're a dead end? What? That's a ripoff. I done thought I was somewhere else. I thought I was right here. Now that I am right here, I will go acquire the Tannis audio diary. What kind of wacky adventures is Patrick Satanis up to today? Is it just me? Or does she sound a little bit crazy? It's true. All of it. The Vault Hunters. The Iridians. They're real. Is one of the poop pipes here, or is the poop pipes a little bit further down? Are you a poop pipe zone? Man, I'm forgetting where the poop pipe is. This is not good. When I'm in the nursing home, I'm just going to request a copy of Borderlands 1 as my one game. So, if I forget where all the stuff is, I'm not going to have a good time. Yeah, the poo-poo pipe is over here. Here's where the poo-poo pee-pee is. Cool to know. Don't hit those barrels. That was a bit of a close call. Did you play Bloons recently? No, I did not play Bloons recently. Oh, it's Rakanishu. I forgot about this guy. This guy's like if Mothrak could kill you. That's the turret. That's not what I want. Get in the seat of the automobile. There we go. Please do not burn me. Please don't toast me. I guess I might as well meet Tannis. I played BTD, BTD. Does that count as Bloons Tower Defense? It was called BTD twice. You might not remember your wife's face, but at least you'll have Borderlands, exactly. On my deathbed, I will go. <coughs> Ever thought about settling down? We could use someone like you around here. Now look him in the eye and go, hey, you here when the wars will come back on? Hey, you here when the wars will come back on? I must seek out Tannis. Why is there no Borderlands 1 VR? They made Borderlands 2 VR. Where is the Borderlands 1 VR? I want to play that one. People are always saying Borderlands 1 isn't good anymore. Well, not not that. People are saying Borderlands 1 hasn't aged that well compared to the other two, and it's objectively the worst of the Borderlands games, which is true. And also, this is my favorite one, probably. Even though it's not even good compared to the other two. But th what I'm saying is, this is the one out of all three that needs to be spiced up the most for Zoomer appeal. So why not put this one in the old virtual headset? Why not put this one in VR? I would spice it up. They got quest objectives now. Back in my day, we didn't have these waypoints. Back in my day, you just had to know where everything was. Then in the Game of the Year edition, they had to dumb the game down by making it objectively better and more fun by adding quest objectives markers everywhere, Ooh, like Skyrim. So, you want to rest in peace, eh? Too bad. I just hope my deathbed has ample audio log recordings that I can make. 
On my deathbed, I will admit to my secret involvement in the creation of the Those Things project. A creation which, of course, does not actually exist. I'm gonna have, like, a whole fan fiction ready to go. And they'll be like, what, really? You really work for, like, the FBI making zombies? Is that, is that like, is that true or is that like a prank? Just a bit? Is the last thing he's doing before he dies is those things bit? That's like, it's not even that good. I thought you said they should make Borderlands 1 beer? Yeah, I wouldn't drink that. I wouldn't drink a Borderlands sponsored drink. That's why I still have two, count them, one, two, not just one, I have two unopened cans of Tiny Tina's G Fuel. Not the powder, the cans. When Borderlands 4 comes out, I will probably drink one of the Tiny Tina's G Fuels. And when the Borderlands movie comes out, I will probably drink one of the Tiny Tina's G Fuels. When the Borderlands movie comes out, I gotta like smuggle the Tiny Tina G Fuel into the theater and take a hilarious picture of the Tiny Tina G Fuel. Like in my hand while Tiny Tina's on the screen. That'd be funny. That would go viral. Borderlands 4 Loco. Yeah, they would partner with 4 Loco for sure. As I, work, I have a sketchy science guy at your funeral and act like he both worked on the project. Two days ago, I Hire a paid actor to show up in like a Half Life lab coat. Yes, I knew Dr. Oboe well. He was my colleague and, well, I really shouldn't say any more. Excuse me. Right, where's this poopy at? Is the poopy here or is the poopy the other place? I always here. Oh, I was down there. The all-new Borderlands beer also contains a lethal dose of cyanide. Because after you drink it, that's, I mean... We're just assuming that if you're buying the Borderlands beer, you also want that as well. Rack, excuse me, that was rude. Yeah, try to dive bomb me. See what happens. Crap, you might get me. Yeah, see what happens. You see that? Mankind can triumph over the beasts of the wild. Sorry, Skags. I got opposable thumbs. Spider ants can't even use assault rifles, dude. These guys suck. They're no good. All right, the poop has been cleared. Anything else we can do, Crazy Earl, real quick? I still gotta get the hidden journal. I didn't even get none of those. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If I don't secure the hidden journal, I won't know the lore of Tannis. There is little I care more about in this lifetime than the lore of Tannis Borderland. May her story be known throughout the ages as one of severe flanderization. If Flanders didn't already coin the term flanderization, Tannis could definitely do it. Tannisization. Tannisation. Vault symbols, what do they mean? Did Tannis draw these? Does she go super duper crazy? Yes, Tannis is all very interesting. Excited for the Game Awards? Yeah, I'm excited for the Game Awards. As of this stream, the Game Awards did not happen yet. I hope Baldur's Gate 3 does not win Game of the Year, because that'd be hilarious. Everybody would be so pissed. 
I hope like uh, I don't know what's what's like the least deserving game. Did like Marvel Snap get nominated for Game of the Year? <laughs> what's like the worst one? What are the what are the Game of the Year options? Spider Man Two is that one? Redfall, yeah, but like what's one of the actual nominees? What's one of the actual nominations? It's like feasible. The competition for best Gollum like is pretty strong. You got Gollum, you got Redfall, you got Kong, and you got Walking Dead. There's four Gollum likes. I think Spider-Man was nominated. Yeah, I don't know if it was or not. I don't really care. Alan Wake 2. Oh, yeah, Alan Wake 2 was nominated. But see, that one's, like, good. Google says that Spider-Man 2, RE4 Remake, Mario Wonder, Tears of the Kingdom. Where's Baldurgate? Is Baldurgate in that list? Be funny if Resident Evil 4 won. That'd be great. What can we say? It's just a good game. It was a good game when it came out 20 years ago, and it's still a good game today. It's just good. It's not our fault Resident Evil 4 is good. If you guys wanted to win the Game of the Year award, maybe you should have made a better game than a game that came out on the GameCube. Maybe you should have stepped it up. I think I will, Scooter. Thank you very much. All right, what quest we got now? We got the uh, Crazy Earl. Oh, I didn't do Crazy Earl. I'm so foolish. I'm so foolish because I didn't meet Crazy Earl. That was not that good. Did they announce the musical guest? Yeah, I think the musical guest is the Alan Wake band. Because in Alan Wake 2, they had that song part. I think they're just going to do that song part. They should have a cyberpunk come back and do some kind of weird crap like they did with Grimes that one time. There was that one. Was that Game Awards or was that Game Summer Game Fest? I don't know. They had they had somebody in like the net running bathtub and they were like dancing around. That was a weird one. Elden Ring DLC announcement rumored. I mean, it's it's been announced. We're just waiting for them to tell me when it's going to come out. I'm sure that's what you mean, though. I got to fill the dead air that exists when playing King Wee Wee's Tavern somehow, and an easy way is to be pedantic about Twitch comments. Boy, I love it when streamer guy says, this comment's stupid. Always a great video. Always a great video. Roasting your comments? Always a classic video. Like, favorite, subscribe if you want to see Oboshu's games reacts to mean comments video, huh? I always love it when you guys leave, like, comment feedback on my video game gameplay. But sometimes people aren't so nice. So I've spent several months writing a comeback to every one of the mean comments that I didn't like. I'm going to act like it's off the top of the head, but it is not. And they've been bothering me for years. Here we go. Ooh, that's a large guy. He's not small. He's not small. I wonder if Jeff's big end of the showcase is going to be Last of Us 2 remake. That'd be hilarious. I saw a headline of an article. I didn't read the article. I'm not going to say I saw the article because I didn't. I saw a headline. It was like, Naughty Dog's game director says that Last of Us 2 was inspired by the roguelike renaissance. I'm like, yeah, it was inspired. Like, hey, roguelike makes $10 million. Let's make one of those because this won't even be that hard to make. We'll make $10 million. Just put a roguelike mode in every game, honestly. Just do it. What do you have to lose? A couple weeks of development time. 
then people can play your game forever. You know what game should have won game of the year? Speaking of roguelikes that got nominated by a bunch of websites, but I don't think anybody's gonna give a game of the year award except real people. Real gamers who know what's up will give Hitman Freelancer a game mode within Hitman 3. That's the real game of the year. Hitman Freelancer is the best game that came out this year. The only problem is it also came out in 2016 and like 2019 and 2021. But that's the good one. I think like GameSpot and like Polygon nominated it. Real gamers know that's the winner. That's a good one. Because Hitman is good and Hitman Freelancer is Infinite Hitman. But unlike some games that just throw in a roguelike mode, Infinite Hitman is actually good. It could be better, though. They, they could definitely add more to Hitman Freelancer. Like, they could add the elusive targets in there. If they just add the elusive targets in the Hitman Freelancer, then that's like, it's game over. It's game over for all other games. They gotta add the holiday events. Once once Hitman eventually like goes offline in like three to four years, once their server shut down, they should just permanently add like literally all the content in that game to Freelancer. Like even just add the story missions, why not? It'd be fun. Add all the story missions, add all the like holiday event content missions, add all the elusive targets of Freelancer. Add like every tool, cause there's not all the tools. I mean, might as well have them all in there. I can't believe Borderlands 1 didn't get nominated this year. I thought that game was pretty good. It would if it had a VR port. Once they port Borderlands 1 to VR, it's going to get nominated. Once they port Dishonored 1 to VR, it'll get nominated. If they ever do that. Arcane needs a positive Metacritic score. Just port the Dishonored game to the virtual Game Boy already. Come on. What are you doing? Erbo came out this year, yo. Yeah, Erbo came out. Erbo is pretty good. Erbo could win game of the year, I think. I don't think any website nominated Erbo. I'm nominating Erbo for mine. My game of the year awards that I'm like not doing. I could do them. Like, favorite, subscribe. If you want top 10 games of 2023 video. Kramer, I'm trying to figure out the top 10 games. Oh, Jerry, Hitman came out. Yeah, I know. I can't think of nine more. I can only think of Hitman and that's it. Well, I can try Erbo. Yeah, that's true. Erbo did. Erbo was good. Can try that uh, that like poacher game. That was kind of good, with the robot lion, like the robot hippo. That was a good one. Only if you record it in your car. Yeah, two true top ten style. Food review style. What's up, guys? Just got the new hashtag life hack sandwich from McDonald. And uh, while I'm eating this, I will give you the top ten games of 2023. That's a pretty good revolver. Is that a good revolver ocelot? What are we thinking? We're thinking 115 damage, thinking 1.9 fire rate. I'm thinking that corrosive pistol is getting replaced. The Vault Hunter has left me here. He found a piece of way better gear. You might not know it, but I just plagiarized myself for that one. Uh oh. Those might be extremely similar to uh, lyrics for that song that I already wrote for a different video that's not out yet. So I guess that video will be plagiarizing this one. Uh-oh. I'm going to get expose aid. This is the right way to King Wee Wee, right? Isn't he, like, behind this? That's just the exit. I went all the way the wrong way, you stupid game. You stupid Borderland. Did Borderlands 1 even get a Game of the Year nomination? I'm sure it did. I mean, every game that's kinda good gets a Game of the Year nomination from somebody. 
These days, Jeff Keighley's Gamer Award is the only award that counts, even though it's not even like a good one. Jeff Keighley's Gamer Award has a player's choice category where Genshin Impact can win. So, you know, not exactly a reliable source. I like IGN's Game of the Year. I got recommended a YouTube short from IGN where they said top 10 Nintendo controllers. And like the guy was like, number two is a Super Nintendo controller. And then there was some lady on there that was like, that controller is not good. And the guy was like, yeah, it is. And she's like, would you play a modern 3D game with that? And he was like, obviously not, because it's for Mario. And she was like, you can't even play Zelda on that thing. So that was a good video. Good job, IGN. And of course, I get a million YouTube shorts of GTA details in the trailer you didn't notice. Number one, the game takes place in Florida. Florida is actually a real place. Siege of the Basilicum is game of the year 2024. Siege of the Basilicum keeps getting delayed. I think the real name of that is Flintlock the Siege of Dawn. And like every six months, Flintlock the Siege of Dawn post a blog post where they're like, hey, uh, it's delayed again, sorry. They showed some gameplay recently that looked pretty good. It looked, it looked dolmen tier. Looked like a dolmen type game. Is King Wee Wee down here somewhere? Where's my Wee Wee? I can't find it. Where did it go? I always feel bad when like a games media person that I liked ends up at IGN. I mean, I don't feel bad because IGN is like the most stable gamer media website. So at least they're getting a paycheck, but like, it's like, oh, I, I like that. They made good videos when they were like not at IGN and now they're IGN and they're like, this is the top three things you didn't notice about Five Nights at Freddy's trailer. And it's like, oh, eh. You gotta do what you gotta do. My goal is to be on IGN one day. I wanna be on IGN. That's not even a joke. You know how much street cred you get for being on IGN? So much street cred, dude. You can cash those bad boys in. You can cash in your IGN street cred for very angry Twitter comments under your gamer hot takes. Thought you wanna be in FaZe Clan? Yeah, I wanna be in FaZe Clan. But I wanna be in old FaZe Clan, not new FaZe Clan. I hope FaZe Clan goes bankrupt and has to sell their compound, and then I'll join them again. Then I'll consider joining up, but as long as they have a compound, I'm not interested. You get to be on the Normandy if you're an IGN. Yeah, if you're an IGN, you can make a cameo in Mass Effect. Phase Clan compound like a cult? Yeah, like a cult. Like a giant soulless corporate building with logos everywhere. Hello, Unimagined Ruthless. It sounds like a randomly generated Borderlands gun. All right, King Wee Wee, where are you, dude? I got to kill this guy. I got to toast him. I think he's over here. I want to start a shipping container streamer compound. That'd be a good idea. Instead of using the shipping container to make affordable shipping container apart, not even apartments, just like literally just a shipping container with a toilet in it. Instead of using them to make that, let's use them to make gamer rooms. We need gamer bedrooms. I mean, a gamer bedroom, basically, it could fit inside, it could work. It, it can just serve a dual purpose. A gamer compound made of shipping containers could be affordable housing and also an epic streamer house. And it could be called Shipment 24-7. That's the name of the business. Activision can finally get into the real estate market. Perfect.
There he is. There's King Wee Wee. Will your shield be good? You're level 22 and I'm 24, so probably not. It probably isn't going to be anything to write home about. King Wee Wee, I write you. Where'd he go? You little rascal. You little rascal. Iridium Blaster, boo. Think of how cool those gamer lights look on corrugated walls. Oh, yeah. Get some cool reflections on that. Don't you dare back away. Oh, my God. I hate that the enemies just run away from you. Like, the psychology of a Borderlands bandit should be, that guy's almost dead. I will keep attacking and going for the kill. It shouldn't be like, oh, back off. Let's play this one real conservatively, said the psycho. I gotta get some gamer lights. I have no gamer lights. I have zero LEDs. I do have an RGB keyboard. That kind of counts. If I turned all the lights off in my room, it would be casting like some ambient light on my chin. That's kind of the same. It's good enough. You gotta get an Ikea square shelf though. Gotta have one of those. One of those bad boys. Backlit with the gamer lights. Oh, now we're talking, now we're cooking. If you're gonna get the Ikea square shelf, copy Technology Connections guy, copy that guy on YouTube. Copy his style, cause his style is cool. But if you're just gonna get the Ikea square shelves and like be like, this is where I put my figure of Garrus, cause I like a Garrus. It's like, eh, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I like, I like Garrus too, he's good, but you know, meh. Personally, I would buy the Erdnaught Rex figure before I bought the Garrus figure, but that's just me. You know what figure I need to buy is Cliffhanger Soap. They made a collectible Cliffhanger Soap figure for Modern Warfare 2, and I still don't have one. I think I brought this up before. I'm like, I gotta buy Cliffhanger Soap, and I just never did. And he comes with detachable arms. You can make him be holding the EBR. He can be holding the Ice Picks, or he can be holding Akimbo Pistols, dude. Three options for soap. I gotta get Captain McTavish, fake cliffhanger fan. I mean, it's, it's, I know it exists. There's probably not many people who even know that's a thing. Hey, okay, what, oh, here's a question this for you. Would a fake cliffhanger fan own a sealed, not even open, a sealed copy of the Xbox 360 Modern Warfare 2 demo disc? What is on the demo disc, you might ask? Just the mission cliffhanger and nothing else. Would a fake cliffhanger fan own that? Didn't think so. I think that's enough to get into the cliffhanger brotherhood. That or the soap figure is enough. You can get into the cliffhanger club of either of those. And if you have both, then you get to be the leader. You're the leader of the organization if you have both of those things. Uh, market correction, I can do that, Marcus. I should have met Crazy Arrow a long time ago, though, because uh, that would have helped. That would have made things go a little bit smoother. Can I get soap on an operating table with a doctor? I don't think so. They should make a dying soap figure. And you, like, pull a cord on prices back and it goes, Soap! No, 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 soap! That'd be a good figure. Mega Bloks made that already. Did Mega Bloks make a cliffhanger set? Did Mega Bloks ever make a snowmobile chase set for Call of Duty? Because if they made that, I gotta have that one too. There is Mega Bloks COD. I've heard that Mega Bloks is getting better and is pretty good these days, but I don't know, man. It's Mega Bloks. How good can it be? Because I got a Mega Bloks Halo guy. 
because I was like, if I if I buy these three Mega Bloks Halo sets, I will have the armor to make my Halo Master Chief Collection Spartan in real life as a Mega Bloks guy. That'd be kind of cool. So I bought the first set. But the Halo guy that came with that kind of wasn't good. Like those Halo Mega Bloks figures, they're very customizable, but the cost of that is that their armor falls off if you like breathe on them. If you look at them, they just like fall into a million pieces. So I did not uh I did not buy the rest of the pieces I needed to make my Halo guy, unfortunately, because the figure quality was not that good. Why can't they just make the Lego Halo? Why'd they get it the Mega Blocks? They got Lego in Fortnite. They got Master Chief in Fortnite. Just combine the two. Put them together and what do you got? Lego Halo 2. Hello, Canada 407. The 407 Canadian. Thought there were more of you guys than that. Thought you had at least a thousand people in Vancouver. Somebody's gotta film all my movies. Somebody's gotta film every city scene. Lego Halo would fly off the shelves. Yeah, they made a Lego, not Lego. They were gonna make Mega Bloks Halo, but Mega Bloks Halo got canceled, which is stupid. And if you see the beta build for that Mega Bloks Halo, that would have sold a million copies. It would have been pretty good. Microsoft should do that now because Halo is like desperate for anything. They should just try to reboot Halo as like a kid series for babies. But then what are you gonna do? The Halo show then has to be for babies. The, the Halo show cannot have Master Cheeks in it if Halo is trying to become a baby franchise. Hey, Ron Beer, thanks for gifting a sub to Canada 407. All right. Oh, Canada. Nice to hear somebody know more than Toronto. I know Toronto. I know Vancouver. I know Quebec. I know none of it. I know. I mean, off the top of my head, that's pretty much the extent of my Canada knowledge, but you know. They, they got like a Saint something, right? You got a Saint something up there? Something up there is the uh, Saint something or other, I think. Everybody's got a Saint something. Gotta have a Saint something. Gotta have a province. Quebec? More like Quebec. Ugh. Like this video if you're from Quebec. To show the Quebec haters, they are wrong. Alright, Crazy Earl. I'm ready for your crazy quests. Oh, I gotta shoot his propane tank. You just got Hank killed. Okie dokie, Earl. You want the bandit and spider ants and the sea charge. Gotcha. I can do it. The best Ubisoft studio is in Quebec. That's true. They do got a Ubisoft up there. Which ones did they make? I don't even know. Who cares? They make all of them. All the Ubisoft studios probably work on all the games, like Call of Duty. They make that Avatar Frontier of Pandora that's coming out. That blue guy game. Are you a good sniper? Mm, it's plywood. The fire rate is very low. I don't know if I can justify that one. Are you a bandit? Do you qualify for Crazy Earl's quest line? I think you do.
The one with little to no advertising? Yeah. I guess they're just counting on the fact that it's an Avatar game that'll advertise itself, but like... That would have worked if it came out at the same time as Avatar 2, but it didn't. It came out like a year after Avatar 2. I kind of missed the boat on that one. And it's got those blue guys from that movie. Everybody will buy this game, eh? Five out of 25, it's a lot of bandits to kill. Net J Jev, thank you for subscribing. You can be net neutrality. You can be agit pie. You don't want to be agit pie though. Trust me. Take that bruiser. He was cruising for one. What can I say? Is kill, no, it's kill spider ants, not kill skags. These skags are not but a waste of ammunition. Oh, I have four weapons last now, don't I? I do, how delightful. Didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. The guns I had was so good, I didn't even know I needed a new one. But now that I can have a new one, now I want the new one. Crazy Earl, I have planted your charge. Wait, no, I didn't. I hit, I hit A on the charge. I gotta go plant it still. Planting it is a different hit A on that thing. Delicious ammo box. I hear you guys chasing me. Don't think I don't hear you guys. Gotta go all the way up and around to hit A on that one. I always say hit A on the objective, but usually it's like hit X or hit E or hit F. It's usually never hit A on something these days. These days A is like a jump button. Like an attack button. I miss when A would open the door. Now X and Y opens the door. I don't want to hit triangle to interact. That's a fake button. That's not a real button. And we're out of bullets. Good thing I have three more weapons in my arsenal. Good thing I played Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Can I get in there? What is the special secret of getting in there? Does it just blow up once that bomb goes off? Yes, the cage has been cracked. Double red chest, here we go, super loot. Better grenade, don't mind if I do. Uh, crappy. Crappy, crappy. Corrosion damage, that's not bad. But unfortunately, team health regen is infinitely more useful. Gotta have that health regeneration. Get him out of here, there we go. Yeah, Oboe Shoes 2's is the Oboe Shoes 2's channel. 
Can't even call it the second channel because it's just the Obo Shoes 2's channel. It's sometimes just the main channel and sometimes the main channel is a main channel. You never know. You never know which channel is the main channel. What I'm thinking of doing is starting 10 clips channels and 10 podcast channels. That's how you do it. You gotta start a clips channel. You gotta start a podcast channel. Because Obo Shoes 2 is currently the VOD dump, so I have the VOD dump down. I had the main channel, I have the VOD dump channel. I don't have a clips channel, and I don't have a podcast channel. And I don't have a channel that's just like for fun. I don't have a just for fun personal channel. I'm like, this channel is where I'll post my personal projects where I don't care about the algorithm. Then that channel gets 50,000 subscribers and you're like, okay, maybe I do care a little bit about the algorithm. And then it ceases to be the fun channel. Actually, Oboe Bricks is the main channel. Actually, Oboe Shoes Dungeons and Dragons is the main channel. I don't know, being a being a D&D &D doomer is very lucrative right now. I should bring back Oboe Shoes D&D &D and just be like, the new border, not borderland, the new dungeon land is bad? The new Dungeons & Dragons rule set is going to be locked behind a paywall and gamers are furious. Wizards of the Coast earnings are down. Oh man. Are they down? I don't care. I'll say that in the video. I'll make uh, two to three videos a week saying that D&D 5.5 edition is not going to be good. And uh, every single one of those videos will have a Kickstarter for some other RPG embedded in there. That'll be good. I can make one of those channels in my sleep. I can make one of those channels like an hour of effort per week. Because if you're a D&D &D channel right now, you either like are good and you still make good content or you just say the new 5e is going to suck. And the people that say the new 5e is going to suck are getting way more, way more, way more, way more views. I'm talking way more views than the people who are actually making the good D&D content right now. So that sucks. Excuse me. Did I kill enough spider ants for that quest? Did I do his quest? Yeah, I did. I should go grab the Claptrap. It's here. I gotta get that backpack upgrade. That's why I watched Dimension 20. Oh, I don't even mean, like, live play. I don't even mean, like, live play. I just mean, like, commentary. I guess Dimension 20 does commentary, too. Where it's just, like, them talking about various RPG stuff. I like listening to like RPG like theory crafting. That's pretty good. But like RPG like what's the marketplace look like? I don't care. Who cares? 5e is losing market share. Oh my heavens. So I finally tried Pathfinder. Dot dot dot. Every time uh, Hasbro, Wizards of the Coast, makes a bad D&D move, which is every day, you can make a video that's like, top five alternative RPGs that are way more better than D&D. And you gotta say, we, as a community, need to move on from D&D, because it's, it's not good anymore, because had terrible, bad company, evil wizards. Boo, we hate them. Also, I will make this video once a week for the next year, because I hate it so much. I just have to keep making videos about it. D&D, more like Doom and Doomers, am I right? And also, now's a really good time to make your own RPG. If you ever wanted to make your own tabletop RPG, you gotta do it now. Find some D&D YouTube channel that has, like, a couple subscribers and be like, Hey, you wanna make a game? You wanna put your name on this rule set I have? The main thing I don't like about D&D is this part of D&D. So my game will be a different D&D &D where every stat is a D20 
D20-based attribute, and they're still plus one, two, three. But uh, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change the combat a little bit to make it more cooler. But uh, it's, it's basically gonna be the same game as Dungeons and Dragons. But you know, it'll have some not very good artwork in the book. That'll be kind of fun. This is a D and D rant. Didn't I do a D and D rant last time I played Border Man? I always do D and D rants. I just gotta play Baldur's Gate. That's what I gotta do. Like, favor, subscribe if you want to see a 600-part Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. I gotta play that game at some point. I gotta literally clear my schedule to play that game because when once I start. That's one of those games where once you start, you just can't stop. Once you're in, you're in. One of the best games ever made? Yeah, I know. That's what people are saying. Personally, I hope Marvel Snap wins the game of the year. I want Marvel Snap to win. That'd be hilarious. I want Overwatch 2 to win best ongoing. That'd be great. If we talk about Mass Effect, it's the Oboe Bingo. Don't worry, no Mass Effect conversation will take place because some Dragon Age crap came out. They're like, in six months, we'll show you a trailer for our new Dragon Age. That was the whole announcement. Yay. I love Mass Effect, one of my favorite series ever. Uh, if you think that new Mass Effect is gonna be good, I got a bridge to sell you. I am indifferent towards Dragon Age. I liked the first one, and then the second one sucked, and I didn't play it after, like, two hours, and I didn't play Inquisition because it looked really long and boring. But if you think that new Dragon Age is going to be good, I got a bridge to sell you. I love seeing trailers for trailers. It was so epic when N7 person just walked down a hallway. That was so good, dude. I love how they made it a pointless ARG as well that took place over, like, three hours. That was really good. I got a bridge to sell you. Unfortunately, it has gamers on it. Uh-oh. Wow, this this bridge is so cheap. This is a great price for a bridge. What's wrong with it? Uh, it's a gamer bridge. Oh, 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 no. That's not what I want to purchase at all. Dragon Age is the longest running series. It only had one good game, and that was the first one. I mean, it's only had three. It's not even had that many. One was good. Two had no chance because it got made in, like, one weekend. And then I didn't play three. But I, people like three, I think. People thought it was okay. It was all right. It just looked boring. And when I say I played Dragon Age 1, what I mean is about, like, four hours in, I turned on God Mode and played it like a visual novel. That's the only way I can get through those. Those CRPGs that are more than ten years old, man, I just can't do them. Like, KOTOR, oh my god. I, I can play KOTOR until the Starforge slash Kreia's Sith Academy, then I, I turn on the God Mode for those, because those just suck. Those are just no good. Anything where it's like, oh, it's real-time combat, but you can pause it to issue orders. I'm like, oh, I don't like that at all. It's a skill issue. I'm not good at them. Maybe the most popular game franchise with only one good game is Mass Effect. hey -oh. Mass Effect 1's the only good one. Even though Mass Effect 3 is pretty good, and Mass Effect 2 is pretty good, Mass Effect 1 is the only good one. Just give me the setup with no resolution. I like the setup. I didn't like where they took the setup. So just, just give me the setup and then never come out with Mass Effect 2. It's fine. Good enough. 
If it's not a hallway where you shoot guys, it's no good. Amen. Amen. Give me a shoot guy hallway. Although the more you get into Mass Effect, the more of a shoot guy hallway it becomes. Like two and three are more of a shoot guy hallway than one is. One has a little bit of an open part to it. That new low poly immersive sim called Blood West looks cool. Yeah, I was looking at Blood West. Blood West looks kind of neat. It's unfortunate that Blood West also released the, the same year as that other one, Weird West. No, Weird Weird West is the fake arcane one. And there's another one. There's like I think it's Blood something. There's another like Western third per Evil. No, Evil West is the what's the third one? Is it Evil West? Is Evil West the Gears of War one? We yeah, have Weird Weird West is the fake arcane one. Evil West is the Gears of War one. There's too many West games. That's why it's good Rockstar names there is Red Dead Redemption. Imagine it was called like Western Adventures of Johnny Marston. That'd be terrible. Hard West is the turn based one. Oh yeah, I forgot about Hard West. Top 10 West games. What's your favorite West game? Where am I going? I gotta get back to New Haven. 24 bottles of booze in Treacher's Landing. 24 bottles of booze. Take one down, pass one around. 24 bottles of booze in Treacher's Landing. Yeah, Horizon Forbidden West is the Aloy one. That's the one that's got Aloy in it. I got too much West. If you want a franchise that peters out and has no resolution, play Legacy of Kane. I heard a Legacy of Kane like one time. And I haven't the clue what it's all about. But does it go? Because that's the part of Mass Effect that's really good is when it plays a cool song. Mass Effect 1 has a cool song in it. I'm sure Legacy of Kane has some cool songs. But is it, is it as good a song as Mass Effect 1? Cool song? I don't know. They got some good ones in there. Pretty hip tunes. Jack's other eye. Handsome Jack? Don't worry. It's not a reference to Handsome Jack. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You don't have to be a lore expert to appreciate this game. Eh, that could be okay. That could be okay, I guess. Maybe that SMG could be okay. The Iridian gun sucks. Get rid of him for sure. He's no good. My gun's made by an Iridian, but an Iridian gun's no good. Electric damage that it deals isn't very effective. Isn't very effective. You know, I didn't think I got all the New Haven chests. I don't think I ain't done got them. I got that one. I got a single chest, but what about the rest? You've tried the rest, now try the chest. I think all the other New Haven quests unlock after Treacher's Landing has been completed. Looks like I'm gonna have to Treach. Yeah, the fast travel's like, I don't know, man. Where are you trying to go? I'm trying. To go to Treacher's Landing. Treacher's Landing is hair at a dog. Don't think I have a fast travel for Treacher's Landing yet. Nope, I don't. Do I have a one for the, uh... The, uh... I really don't have one for Rust Common? Man. That's a common problem. 
common fast travel L. Is this a no skill playthrough? Uh, insulting, excuse me. I have the most skill of any gamer. As long as I'm playing with the Xbox 360 controller that has auto aim enabled. If I gotta use the mouse and keyboard to aim a gun, it's game over. It's not gonna happen. I will never be on 100 Thieves official Counter-Strike team. It's getting a little bit laggy. It's not that bad. Usually when you've been playing it for this long, the uh, old memory leak rears its ugly head. At least this copy of Borderlands Game of the Year Super Duper Edition comes with a built-in, like, go-to-bed timer. Like, you know how Nintendo games, like, you've been playing too long. It's time for you to take a break. Borderlands 1 comes with one of those, but it just, like, crashes the game. Oh, looks like you tried to load too many new areas. The game is going to crash now. Bye-bye. I wonder if we all have to alter our Mario impressions because of the new Mario Wonder guy. I didn't play Mario's Wonder yet, so I don't know if he sounds significantly different. He's probably just doing a Mario impression. He probably just sounds like a guy doing a Mario impression. Can we leave, please? Thank you. Thank you, Treacher. All right, Treacher, I'm ready to land. And I don't have the Pulp Fiction reference quest yet, unfortunately. That quest comes later on. I think all I have right now is Bottle of Booze. Give me your booze. Just do the Chris Pratt Mario. Yeah, that's an easier one. That's an easier one to do. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Whoa, Peach, we gotta save Luigi. Whoa, no, mamma mia. What's a big guy? He's coming down. He's coming down the ramp. Our Petey's coming down the ramp. You know, I was talking trash about the assault rifles earlier, but this one's pretty good. It's not bad. The DPS is good. The gunplay is kind of meh. I think the gunplay on these assault rifles has room for improvement. But in terms of doing damage, that was not bad. The damage was dealt. You're cruising for a bruising, bruiser. Oh, I'm cruising for an electrocution. Uh-oh. A shocking turn of events. Do I have the fish quest yet? I don't even think I have fish yet. And they really just use Treacher's Landing twice, don't they? You thought it was fun the first time you fought through everybody. Guess what? You get to do the same exact linear zone again. Come on, little one. At least when they scattered the quests around the open world areas, it's like, okay, what's well, there's one over there. There's one over there. They don't reuse the bandit camps in like the giant zones too much, but Treacher's Landing, like, yeah, fight Treacher's Landing two times. Why not? I wonder if Treacher's Landing was made earlier slash later in development. Like earlier in development, do they think it was gonna be more of a linear type thing? Where it's more of a straight line type level design? Like Sledge's safe house and stuff? Or was the mix always part of the plan? I mean, even in the earliest gameplay footage, there is a car. In the before the cell shaded gets added gameplay, they're in a car. So I feel like the wide open spaces is always part of it. You gotta squeal before we fuck and it's not like Treacher's Landing isn't open. It's pretty open. It's just a little bit more of a straight line than the other areas are.
Give me some more booze, bandits. Need more booze. 15. 16. And Borderlands the fastest way to get 24 bottles of booze is to go kill 24 people. Talk about a busted economy. It's cheaper to buy a gun and buy the bullets and go kill 24 guys than it is to just go buy 24 boozes. Who even sells booze? Moxie, I guess. I guess she's the only one. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty three, twenty four. Oh, my God, the last booze is right there. Really, Borderlands one? That's how that's how it's going to be. I die one foot from the objective with no revive. Come on, give me that revive. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. I earned it. Ugh. Why do good games have to be so bad sometimes? Why can't there just be a good game that's always a good game? Because every once in a while you're playing a good game and then you have a metal weapon out when it's raining and it gets zapped. And then you got to climb a mountain and then you can't climb it because it's raining. One must assume Sisyphus is happy playing Borderlands 1 or and or again. I will point out, though, that Oboe Shoes Games used to play Borderlands 1 or and or again, but he has since stopped, and yet he still plays it or and or again. So it's not even out of any obligation at this point. I'm not even playing Borderlands 1 or and or again because my entire channel is Borderlands. I'm just playing Borderlands 1 or and or again because I like Borderlands 1. I might even play some Borderlands 2. Who, kn who knows? The future is wide open and rife with potential and possibilities. I mean, Borderlands can sustain. Borderlands franchise has been sustaining multiple YouTube channels worth of daily Borderlands content for like over a decade now. So it is one of those games you can play for a long time. You can play this game for most of your human lifespan, probably, if you really wanted to. Have you done a playthrough or pre-sequel? Oh boy, have I. Go on Obo Shoes 2 and look up pre-sequel. You will find you will find some commentary that kind of sounds like this. Hey guys, we're back with pre-sequel. Yay. Alright, let's go do the stupid uh let's go do the stupid quest uh with that one. A lot of Borderlands pre-sequel commentary was recorded at 6 a.m. after getting home from my job that I got off of at like 4.30 a.m. So, not a lot of enthusiasm. A darker time, metaphorically and physically. Oh boy, I just got done working the late shift. Now I can play Borderlands the pre-sequel. Oh boy, I cannot wait to play Handsome Jack. But it, it was like funny, you know, it's it's like you're in on the joke because you're like, this guy doesn't even want to play this game, but he's still doing it. Ha ha ha. This guy is playing as Athena. This guy's doing a claptrap playthrough. What a riot. Crazy Arrow, why'd you lie to me? He stabbed me, twice. he stabbed me twice. I'm pretty sure once I hit A on Crazy Earl, another batch of Sigma Rust Commons grind set is available. Now five million new quests have popped up on my map. Earl needs food badly. Go to Crom's Canyon, get him some food. 
Take Crom's dog food. You can't even buy booze. Can't even buy dog food. You gotta go kill people for dog food. Killing people for dog food isn't even like a one-to-one -one correlation. At least when you kill a guy for booze, he drops booze. You gotta go kill like a hundred bandits in that canyon for dog food. Can't Dr. Zed just sell some dog food? Increase the corrosion damage of Mordecai's Bloodwing skill? Uh, yes, please. Increase the corrosion... Oh, it actually sucks. It's actually really bad. Let's go see what New Haven has in store now. New quests are available at the New Haven Bounty Board. Your running seems too fast. Are you using mods? No, I'm not using mods. I'm using a higher FOV than the console version has, probably. That could be the cause of your confusion. Yeah, she does. I'm proud of you, Borderlands 1. You haven't crashed a single time yet from the memory leak. You know, I always complain about the memory leak, but to be honest, it doesn't affect me that often. I don't do a lot of save, quit farming, and one these days, so it doesn't really matter that much. If you're doing the save, quit farming, though, you're in for a bad time. You're in for trouble. Not gonna have fun doing that one. Whoa, the secret shop. What's in the secret shop? In the shop. We got a swift law. Is that good? Is that good? Compared to my current one, uh, 46 damage, but minus two fire rate. It looks like it's probably a little bit better. It certainly costs more. I'll buy it. How about this revolver ocelot? Is he better? Uh, two more damage for accuracy debuff. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. All right, a slightly better SMG. I like this long barrel. The long barrel on the Borderlands 1 SMG looks nice. I mean, not this scope, though. This scope kind of sucks. I don't like that JPEG scope too much, I gotta say. It's not my favorite. Not my preferred one. And I realize I just, I just sang a line of, in the shop, I gotta stop, because I might give away my entire Christmas special. That's, that's like the second time, dude. I already did The World Has Turned and Left. I already gave away that one. That's the second. There's only 10 songs on that album, and I gave away two of them already. I gotta quit. I gotta stop before I give away the entire video. I gotta make that video. Tune in next time to watch even more sneak previews of a video that you will see on Oboe Shoes Games in the near future, and you will see it, and you will scratch your head and go, huh. I don't really know why he made that one. And like, what what is the point of this video? That's the effect I'm going for with the Seagird content. Whenever a Seagird video gets posted, I want the I want you to just be confused. I want people to just go, okay, what? I thought this guy played Call of Duty. Why? What is what is this? Why did he post this? That's what I'm going for. Like, favor, subscribe, so you never miss a baffling upload. <laughs>